Misleading motherfuckers, man. This shit fucks everything up. Now we all know, nobody likes to be led on. Nobody. When somebody leads you on, it's like being in love with nobody there. And you start feeling strong about this person, you start falling in love, but it's kind of like you fall in love with a ghost. I love you, baby. Ah, oh, shit, where'd you go? You're basically falling for something that never existed. Never existed. Now people do this for certain reasons. For example, you may be single, that person may be taken, and they're just flirting. But you may take it as they like you, or they love you, or they want to have your kid. Okay, I've actually misled somebody before, and I feel really bad about that. Where was I? Sometimes the person who's leading you on is usually in a relationship, and they just want to flirt. There's nothing wrong with a little flirting. A few smiles, a few roses, a few hotel stays. Are you misleading me, Jojo? <sighs> now look, you got people who mislead on accident, and you got people who mislead on purpose. Now if you think somebody likes you, you better make sure before you start falling in love and shit. Because that shit hurts. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Where was I? Sometimes all it takes is somebody to flirt with you, and then some people just fall in love instantly. Oh my god, he smiled today. He loves me. Oh my god, he parked his car next to mine. He loves me. See, the main thing is you have to understand the situation at hand. If you see a guy at 3 in the morning every weekend, don't expect him to wife you. It's nothing more than drunk ass weekend last booty call sex. Or... Is it just an innocent movie night? That, my friends, we'll never know. Another example, if you're friends with a guy, just friends, and he's taking you to dinner, taking you out to bars, clubs, around all his friends, and he already established that you're just his friend, don't get all heartbroken and call the cops. Don't do that. Sometimes, also, you may get somebody who's playing the field. Meaning, they lead everybody on. You always got that one girl, that one girl, who just believes she's the only girl in the world that he's talking to. Ah, oh, he just loves me. It must be my hair or something, but I'm just different. I'm different. I'm different. Two change, I'm different. Let me take my glasses off for this one. You are not different. Then, you got that person that wants to stay in the same spot in the relationship the whole time. They don't want to get engaged, they don't want to get married, and they don't want kids. And they damn sure do not want you to move in. That's just because they want to keep you like right here. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to let you go too far where you meet somebody else. Hey, where'd you go? Come back! And they don't want to keep you too close where they can't breathe and they feel like they're in a relationship. We are way too close right now. I'm just saying don't get misled. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes you think what it's not. And sometimes it may seem what it never will be. Sometimes you see girls saying, Oh my god, he's such an asshole. I can't believe this shit. Most of the signs when you're getting misled is in the very beginning. Just keep your eyes open like really wide like you're on crack and you'll see all of them. Don't keep them all low like you just drank a whole pint of purple syrup. And then you got those girls who catch that shit in the very beginning. Uh-uh, Buster. I ain't buying that shit. Take that bullshit somewhere else. I drink a shot star. I'm from Bob Marley. I drink a shot star. I'm blue, da ba dee da be da. I'm dee da be da. I'm dee da. So, if you've ever been misled, don't let that shit happen again. And that's it, guys. And it is Valentine's Day, so um, make sure you guys, you know, wear your seatbelt. You're probably making love, so. Go ahead and get back to it. I love you guys and uh, yeah, don't eat too much chocolates. Bye bye now.